In this video, we're going to convert fractions to decimals. And the decimals are either going to be repeating decimals, some block of numbers, digits repeat over and over again, or it's going to terminate, which means eventually everything becomes zeros. Now, all these are rational numbers. Remember, a rational number is one which has an which can have an integer for a numerator or a denominator. And to convert these fractions to decimals, we do a division problem. So now, some are going to repeat and some are going to terminate. How do I know the difference? Well, there's a little trick if you want to find out if it's going to repeat or terminate. Look at the denominator. If the factors of that are 2's and or 5's only, when the fraction is in simplest form, then it's going to terminate. So this one will terminate. Simplest form, yes. The 25 is 5 times 5. It's going to terminate. 7 has factors other than 5 and or 2. So this one's going to repeat. How many digits will repeat? Well, the most can repeat is one less than that number right there. Let's see what happens in this problem. 8 into 3. It's going to go 3 is 24. 60 is 7. And it's going to terminate at 0 0.35. So the fraction 0 0.35 is equal to 3 eighths. 2 25ths, rational number. 2 into here. It's going to go 0 times. Now it's going to go 8 times. And that will be 200. So this number is 0 and 8 hundredths. This one now, we can see it's going to repeat. And it's going to be no more than six digits if it's a fraction less than one. Let's see what happens. I'm going to erase these others here so we can get some space for ourselves. And we'll do three sevenths. So seven is my denominator. And three is my numerator. This goes four times. That's 28. This goes two times. This is 14. This goes 8 times, that's 56. This goes um, 5 times, that's 35. And let's move this down so we can get some more space. And that's 50. And that's going to go 7 times, that's 49. That's 1. It's going to go 1 time, that's 7. That's 3. Need a little more space. Now, notice that... Here's my 30, and here's my 30. So it's going to start repeating again. The next digit in my quotient will be a 4. So the answer to this problem, as a decimal, is 428571. It repeats that block of numbers over and over again. And you'll find some interesting things if you try 7 into 1 and 7 into 2. Try that sometime. You'll find some very interesting things happen with these digits right here. Hope it helps you in converting fractions into repeating, like this one, or terminating decimals. And as always, have a very happy day.